All right. Something tells me that if I take out my pickaxe and use it on this mysterious set of boards. Okay, there's one. Come on. There's two. <gasps> Yay, look at that, you guys. We have just uncovered ourselves another beautiful hot spring here in a short hike where we are working our way up to the beautiful Hawk Peak Trail. But you know, now that we're actually here and I can see how challenging it is, it freaking reminds me of trying to climb to the top of a mountain in Mount Kumaribi in our snowy sled dog adventures. It's a lot harder than you would think. You really have to work to be able to make it happen. Oh my goodness. So let's go ahead and we're gonna do our best. Okay. Hopefully we won't freeze too much. And let's see how much further up the mountain we can actually make it this time without freezing our feathers off, quite literally. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, this is so cool. This is getting so intense. Oh, are we gonna be able to do it? Come on, little me. Oh my gosh, I think we're gonna freeze. Okay, let's fly over here, please. Please, <gasps> we made it! Okay, so we managed to make it over here and we're not freezing. So does that mean we can go ahead and use our bucket? Let's grab our bucket. Let's jump down. We're gonna go ahead and water this flower and, all right, be ready. Now that we saw that this side is actually lower. Come on. All right, we're almost there. <gasps> wow. We've made it! Are we gonna get all the way to the top? Is this the top of Hawk Peak? Like, have we made it up here? Oh my gosh, I think we've made it. I think we've made it! Oh! Oh, wow! Phew! I... I did it! Oh, wow, you guys. We did it! I can't believe it. Listen to that whippoorwill. Oh, I have goosebumps. It's so beautiful. Look, and the sun is going by. And we're just looking at everything. Whoa, our cell phone! <laughs> cell phone reception! Hello? Hi, Claire. Mom! I'm so glad to hear from you. I've been waiting all day to hear from you. Oh, that's why Claire wanted to be able to get to the top and, and be able to listen and have cell phone reception. I feel so bad. I thought Claire wanted to get up here just because she was bored and she's like, whatever, aunt. Sure, we're in nature, but... I just want to be on my phone, like, scrolling Reddit or Twitter or TikTok or something. But no. It was because, just like any wonderful tool, you can use it to talk to your family. And Claire missed her mom. I've been worried. Aw, oh, honey. I told you I'd be fine. Yeah. But you always say that. And I always am. Anyway, how have you been? Well, I'm at the top of Hawk Peak right now. Oh, wow. I love it up there. May and I used to go up every summer together. It's about time you made it up. Yeah, I know. You're so big now. My little girl's leaving the nest. You won't have any need for little old mom. But I do need you. I'll never not need you. When I heard about the surgery, how come you never told me this was a thing? I didn't want you to worry. But I know you can get worked up about things. I could have been there for you. You're all alone there now. Really, it was nothing. Everything was fine. I'm just glad you're okay. I love you, Mom. I love you too. Wait, 
Something's happening! Um... Was that the famous Hawk Peak updraft? Uh... Looks like it. You should catch a ride on it now. Before it fizzles out. I wanna... But I'm kinda nervous. Claire, you can do it. I'll come visit you soon, okay? Also... Don't forget to say hi to Aunt May for me. She's probably waiting for you back at the cottage. Bye. Love you. Love you too, Mom. <gasps> you guys! Wow! Wow! I didn't expect, like, any of that! I'm... We did it! Not only did we did it, do it, but like, our mom apparently was having a major surgery and she's gonna be okay. And let's do this! <gasps> Look at the updraft that you can get! How high can it take us into the sky? This is so beautiful! So you can swirl around with the Aurora Borealis? Really? Oh, I have loved this. I have loved this. I have loved this, my friends. This has been a true delight. I mean, we started adventuring here and exploring here because I had heard that it was something amazing and beautiful. And because my heart was, was singing and hoping and missing and dreaming of being able to see the glorious beauty of the mountains again. It has been a long time, almost a year and a half, and two and a half years since I had last seen the beloved mountains that Chips and I fell in love at, and I had no idea that our short hike here would end up carrying us so far and taking us on so many big adventures. I am so tickled. It has been so much fun. So let's go find Aunt May now, and also now that the mountain has rumbled and shook. I think we might actually be able to find ourselves, like, where the heck is this? I don't remember seeing this anywhere. Whoa! Wee! Oh wow, where are we now? We found another golden feather! Oh, this is so cool! And we ended up at a totally different overlook too. All right, let's see. No, 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 I wanna go ahead and... We can see the lighthouse from here, so I can actually try to figure out like where the heck we're going. The treasure chest. Oh, I can see the, the meteor lake. It's so much fun to have made so many wonderful memories around here, you guys. All right, well, let's actually try to do a little bit more exploring. Like, where the heck does this take us? Oh, that was where Outlook Point was! That was where one of the people we kept running into wanted us to go so that we could play with them. I think that we actually have a whole bunch of different kinds of adventures we could try out now. So let's come down here and talk to this rabbit. Sorry I can't chat right now. I gotta prepare mentally and physically for the race. See ya! I wonder if there's, there's definitely more to do because there's like, uh, I want to try to gather up enough money that we can try to help that guy with being able to follow his dreams for school. And I know right over here, maybe this, this little cave isn't blocked anymore. After that, ah, oh, the way forward is blocked. So there's still more adventures to find. That's so cute! Oh, I've had so much fun here. I kind of want to complete all of the adventures that you can do and figure out what to do with all of these fish we have got our hands on now. Oh, hello, friend! Okay, so you want to hear another rumor? Sure, why not? So Deborah was up at Outlook Point the other day. She said that when she looked through the binoculars, she could see a mysterious island! How mysterious! What? We were just at Outlook Point! Ah, oh, maybe I didn't use the binoculars right, but it sounds like we could actually find our way over to a mysterious island. Look at all the sandcastles our friend has made! My sandcastle is now part of a sand city! And also, I'm running a hotly contested election for mayor. Oh, hold on. 
The election results just came in. Okay, okay. I'm tallying them up. Third place? What? I built this city. <laughs> Sorry about the loss. It was a tough race, but it's all okay. I managed to secure a seat on the city council. Oh, that was really cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. And then who was the person who wanted a bunch of seashells? Because we have definitely gone by the seashore and gathered them up. Hello, wolf friend. And I love how we're going over the same place, but with new eyes and new skills, so that now we can actually explore whole new places and appreciate things <gasps> like this treasure chest and appreciate the things that we discover in fantastic new ways. That's how it is with my beloved Chips and I. We love, love, love going hiking and walking and exploring. And sometimes when we go over the same place again and again and again, we actually fall in love with it in whole new ways. Hey Claire, how's the day treating you? Well, I'm just getting out of the house now. Ah, one of those kinds of days. Yeah, I've been kind of caught up in my head all morning. Hmm. Would you say you feel lost and directionless? Um, maybe. Well, I just, I got just the thing for you. Take this. We could have got a compass this whole time. To use it, press space to open your inventory, then select it from the items menu. Oh, uh, thanks. This should come in handy. Happy hiking. <laughs> we absolutely could have used that compass so many times if I had known that it existed. Oh, hello. Hey, I got your shells. Oh, I'll take them. So now what? What? I mean, uh, do I get anything? No? Jeez, not even a thank you? That's not very nice. I do what it takes to survive. I never promised you anything. Actually, I do have something for you. A new job. I already have a job. Well, that makes this your side gig. What if I don't take it? It's your loss. Good jobs are hard to find. So, what will it be? <laughs> What's your side gig? Good. Take this. <gasps> a shell necklace! And deliver it to Ranger May. That is all. That's adorable! We'll totally deliver that to Ranger May. So we found all of the seashells, I think, and now we've got our shell necklace. And that means we've got to get back to our aunt and tell her about the big adventure that we just had, you guys. That was so fun. Aunt May! I've got a delivery. It's from Jen. Oh, wow. It's so pretty. She's such a sweet girl. Collecting all those shells must have been a lot of work. Well, actually, hmm? <sighs> Never mind. Oh, I remembered something. I found this golden feather in the cabin. I figured you could use it. <gasps> 13 golden feathers! Whoa, thanks. This is weird timing. Is this like a reward for delivering the necklace? Uh, no? Huh. <laughs> that was adorable. Oh, by the way, did you make it to the top? Yeah, it was really nice. I can see why you like it so much, though it wasn't exactly a short hike. I'm really tired. <laughs> well, maybe that was a bit of an understatement. Only a bit? It's kind of been a busy day. Oh yeah? What have you been up to? Well, I learned how to fish. Did you now? Yeah. Bill lent me his fishing rod. Of course it was Bill. I don't think I've ever seen him not fishing. Also, I played a game of beach stick ball. What's beach stick ball? It's some game the kids play. They're always playing something new. I can't keep up with all the youth these days. Oh, I whacked my shovel against this rock and money came out. It was a money rock. Well, now you're just making stuff up. I highly doubt you found this money rock in Ontario. They're more of a West Coast thing. Anywho, you hungry? I'm gonna break out the hot dog soon. Well, I'm kind of tired out. I'm gonna take a nap or something. Alrighty then. Have a good one. Wow, really? Oh, I almost forgot. Mom says hi. And everything was okay. That's great to hear. Your mom is a tough bird. I knew she'd be alright. I'm really glad I came. It's been nice. I'm glad you're here. 
You can visit again anytime. Oh, Guys, this is so sweet! I think it'd be nice to take a break. Alrighty, it's nap time! Huh! The end! You guys! That was so cute! I adored that! There was clearly so much more we could have found to complete everything to be able to go ahead and to try to find like how do you unblock the ways and and how do you go ahead and find all of the treasure map spots and I just love this. I just absolutely love this. A short hike. That had all of the beauty and the sense of exploration, the sense of challenge, the sense of joy that I get when I go on real short hikes. When you go on those little tiny adventures that you don't think will really change you, but if you pay attention and you keep your curiosity sharp, if you just let yourself enjoy the silly games that you make up with beach stick ball, if you try out new skills and become stronger, like the way that we gathered up all the golden feathers and we learned how to climb and glide, you just never know how those short hikes and short adventures will change you. They become precious experiences that add even more to our lives. So thank you guys so much for joining me on this short hike. I cannot wait to be able to find more little gems of games like these to play. And also, hopefully, now that it is safe for Chips and I to explore the world again, to be able to bring some of the short hikes and adventures and the things that we discover out in the real world to all of you guys soon. I'm really looking forward to that. If you guys could, do please leave a like for our wonderful short hike adventure. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.